So did Putin's comments make anyone else ill? Let's get some reaction from Republican Senator uh, John McCain, who joins me here now. Uh, Senator, before I get to Putin's comments, what do you make of the negotiations going on right now between Secretary Kerry and uh, the F Russian foreign minister? Well, I hope that they succeed. I think everyone in the world does, but I'm very, very skeptical. Um, uh, the, Lavrov, in the little uh, press event that they had earlier today, said, of course, we don't know who is uh, using the chemical weapons. Well, that kind of dishonesty, if that characterizes uh, what they're negotiating, then uh, I'm not very optimistic. I'm also more uh, offended that uh, here we are negotiating to remove chemical weapons at the same time plane loads of arms are flying into Damascus that are used to kill Syrians already a hundred thousand of them you're talking about the Russians arming, Russians but the Russian CIA army. is arming the rebels Well, that's like saying the people who fought against Hitler uh, were morally equivalent they're not the, the you know, Bashar Assad has butchered over a hundred thousand of his uh, of his citizens and the most barbaric fashion and the Russians while talking about removing the chemical weapons are flying in vast supplies and by the way still what our CIA is doing is is quote light weapons Jake light weapons don't do very well against tanks and airplanes and it's almost shameful that for two years now this has gone on and now they trump it with leaks on the front page of the Washington Post this morning arms are flowing to Syria they're not the right arms that are going in they need anti-tank weapons yes anti -tank anti -air. Aircraft. absolutely so um, the line that you're criticizing existing mm -hmm. this line about okay well they're trying to get rid of the chemical weapons purportedly but the conventional weapons continue to flow from Russia to Syria uh, and, that's a line that President yes, Obama and from, Iran, and from Iran and from Iran but that's a line that President Obama has set the red line on chemical weapons a hundred thousand people killed in Syria without the US doing anything about it other than economic sanctions and, and, and diplomacy. Now, I know that you've been advocating for arming the rebels, yeah. but that's not uh, Lavrov's line. That's not the Russians' lines. That's President Obama's. But again, in, in all due respect to the president, if someone dies by being tortured to death or shot in the head with a bullet or from inhaling a chemical weapon, what's the difference? It's the president that set a red line and I'm not sure if it was an offhand remark or what, now that red line has been crossed, the president said he was going to strike. He announced that he was going to strike. Then he decided that he had to go to Congress for permission to do so or endorsement for doing so. Now, and, and spoke to the American people arguing for a pause and action. And of course my constituents are confused by all this. And then of course, with an offhand remark from the Secretary of State, also saying, well, there's no way they'll ever remove right. these chemical weapons. He said it was weapons. impossible. Then Lavrov, who, who was many things, including an old uh, apparatchik, but uh, seized upon that, and now puts Putin in a position of un almost unprecedented influence in, the, in these affairs. Let's talk about Putin. What did you think of his op-ed? What did you think of him saying that the Syrian rebels are the ones who did the chemical weapons attack and saying that there is no such thing as American exceptionalism? I'd like to have a chance to uh, have a, uh, a commentary in Pravda. <laughs> Not going to happen, probably, <laughs> right? If that would happen. Look, it's as long as we always remember who Putin is. He's a KGB colonel, apparatchik, who has never really abandoned the ambitions, the Russian ambitions, for an empire and influence in the world. And so we should not be surprised. Well, Putin calls our Secretary of State a liar, and our Secretary of State turns around in testimony and says, the Russians are cooperating with us. This is, this is a Orwellian experience we're going through. Assad uh, uh, says... How the, what, what has, has Putin or Lavrov ever done that would make us entrust them with a mission of removing chemical weapons from Syria? Well, nothing <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, but I guess the argument is... Uh, at least the, this should be tried. This should be attempted. I if agree. The, if the chemical as weapons. Long as, it's, as long as it's not too long. But Jake, What's again, how long is too long the, for you? Oh, I, a days. But let me, let me point out that be, if because of the threat of a strike, Bashar Assad had grounded and moved all his aircraft around. Guess what happened the day after the president announced the pause? The strike started again. Guess what started in the suburbs of Damascus and other places? They intensified 
military action against the Free Syrian Army. So who wins in all this? Who wins in all this? And I can tell you, it's a blow to the morale of the Free Syrian Army, and our friends in the region are, are befuddled, and this cannot help but encourage the Iranians when it comes to the... Uh, it came, uh, the um, nuclear weapons issue. Well, one last question for you, sir. Senator, uh, former Senator, now Secretary John Kerry, he's a good friend of yours, a fellow yes. Vietnam veteran. Uh, he's over there right now. Assad saying today uh, that this threat of force by the U.S. has to be taken off the table. Putin has said similar things. That's obviously what the Russians are going to be pushing John Kerry on. Uh, What's your message to him on that issue? My message is don't do it. And by the way, the Israelis have struck weapons uh, places where sophisticated weapons that were destined for Hezbollah four times. They attacked a facility that was turning into a nuclear facility in sure, 2007. Some, yeah, yeah, some years ago. There's never been a response. And as the Prime Minister of Israel said, Israel can take care of itself. That was his statement. So for them to threaten some kind of retaliation, well, then go, all I can say is that that would, they know that that would be very counterproductive. So all I can say is that I hope it succeeds. I think it has done incredible damage to American credibility already, and I think the chances of getting a really verifiable uh, regimen is, is uh, not good. In the meantime, we've sent so many mis 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 mixed messages. Our enemies are encouraged and our friends are discouraged. Senator